I think we take that for granted. Oh, my neighbor, sorry. Hi, I'm Taylor Alexis, and this is a safe place to talk dangerously about the life lessons in your 30s and all other shenanigans. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you. It's good to have you back. As always, if this is your jam, hit that subscribe button for more weekly content. Okay, so today's topic is slowing down. It's November, you know, it is Mariah Carey season, and I think we have had quite the year, right? So much has happened, so much is continuing to happen, and I think this is around the time where we should start slowing down, especially since Thanksgiving is this week. We all know that 2023 was a lot, but hopefully your year had a lot of ups as much as it had some downs. I would say with mine, it's kind of some ebbs and flows, but I think overall, and I was thinking about this when I was doing some cardio the other day, overall, I think this year has been a-okay. Like it's had its moments, but the good was absolutely outweighing the bad. And I think the biggest takeaway that I have from this year is clarity just on so much of like what I want to do, who I am, who I want to be around, that kind of stuff. So feeling good about that. I was super excited to take a trip this year to Puerto Rico. I didn't really like have a set plan of what I wanted to do, but I know that I just wanted to have a vacation where I'm like not working, not dealing with anything that I don't want to do. <laughs> um, but I was just so excited to go to Puerto Rico and just have a good time. So it was so funny, the day before I went to Puerto Rico, I found out that Bad Bunny was gonna be having his like listening party and I'm like, what? Like I'm getting in at 5 p.m. He's performing at 9.30, which really was 11.30, but it's okay. Okay, I still love you, Ben Nino. I still love you. But I was like, I'm gonna find tickets, okay? Well, I'm gonna get there no matter what. I got tickets and um, it was really nice. It was just so nice to see, like, or it's so nice to feel the energy of everybody that was there for Bad Bunny and just listening to this album. It was so, so cool. Like, it just felt like a concert, even though they said it's not a live performance, but he gave a little, you know, a little razzle dazzle with the album. Um, and if you haven't heard it, Es fuego, muy fuego. <laughs> I found a hotel that was kind of, I just honestly booked it because of the aesthetics and that's like probably not the best thing, but I was like, oh, this looks nice and clean and like artsy. Turns out it was like a wellness place, which was really nice. So they had like yoga in the morning. They had like a private chef that would come in every morning and cook breakfast, which was nice. Um, I believe all the breakfasts were vegan. I'm not vegan, but everything was delicious. I did a hike in the rainforest, El Yunque, right? I think I'm saying that right. That was such a good time. I didn't know what to expect. I just kind of like booked some excursions and was just like, we're gonna do it, who cares? But scuba diving, wow. Like I'm a Pisces, I'm a water girl. Like I just feel so, so at peace by water, but being down under with oxygen tanks and you're just chilling with whatever else is down there. Oh, it was so much fun, so much fun. Like, so calming. I'm like, how do I, you know, put this into my self-care routine? <laughs> so maybe I'll make that like a vacation routine, but it was just so nice to just relax and just move at my own pace, even though I had something scheduled, but just kind of like easing into the trip. And I came back feeling super refreshed, but one of the things I became really clear about was that I no longer want to be in this rat race. Like, it doesn't mean I don't want to work hard. And I think everybody was yelling at Kim K for saying, you know, no one wants to work hard, but I believe it. I swear, man, I think people want to look busy more than they are busy or look like they're doing work. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> I no longer want to be in that rat race. You know, I think living in New York, it's hard to break free from that and it could be such a bubble where you feel like you're constantly on the go. I mean, think about all the times that you're walking in the city and you're walking like 13 miles per hour when maybe you could be walking five or six miles, you know? But it's like, it's Manhattan, why not? Or it's New York, why not? You know, but I, I wanna do deep, meaningful work. I want to, 
utilize my time better. And you know, there's all this talk about having a work-life balance. Not sure if that's really a thing anymore. I think it's just a flow because you're gonna have some busy seasons, you're gonna have some slow seasons and yeah. I know there's a saying about attracting love and not chasing it, but I think that should also be applied to like your dreams as well, right? I think so. Like I wanna put energy out there that comes back to me in tenfold. Like I know my <laughs> previous video, I was just on a roll about Mean Girls and nothing had happened at that moment. It was just something that I felt in my spirit to talk about. But yeah, I just, I don't know. Like I, I don't wanna chase after things that make me feel worn down in anything. So I'm really taking that and applying that to my film life. Now, that doesn't mean I don't wanna do the work, because of course I always wanna do the work. Sometimes you gotta peel me off of this, you know, chair, but just having more of a balance of attracting it versus chasing it, because let me tell you, my back has been hurting lately, and look, I'm not about to be going into physical therapy six days out of the week, or I don't know, three days out of the week. That's a lot, six will be a lot. <laughs> <laughs> because of all the chasing that I'm doing. So yeah, which also makes me think about the soft girl era, right? And I think that was born from, or the term was coined from a necessity to prioritize rest, right? But there's a time and a place for that. Honestly, there really is. Like maybe we could have like a soft girl week, soft girl couple of days, soft girl weekend, you know? Because if we're all chilling and everybody's soft, who's doing the hard stuff? That's also not preparing you for life. That's like, you know, just focusing on positive vibes only. What do they call that? The um, toxic positive, toxic positivity? That, no, that's not realistic. That's not how life is, right? We have all these ebbs and flows and you're setting yourself up for failure or you're doing yourself a disservice by just saying, no, 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 I'm only in my soft girl. Nah, because nah, nah. that's a scam, but we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> also, you know, to get a little personal, like I've had so many times in my life where I was so busy that I've made myself sick. Sick. You know how crazy that is? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're ending up in doctor's offices and hospitals and, and the doctor's like, I don't know what's wrong. And I'm like, you know, it's just stress. I'm just stressed out. Like you gotta chill, you have to chill. I always say it's nice to disconnect, to reconnect. Um, I'm battling with myself if I want to keep my personal Instagram or not. I'm just kind of like, <laughs> like I know I need it for the film stuff, but the personal one, I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Feels weird. Mm. <laughs> That's all I'll say on that. But within slowing down and Thanksgiving is, you know, a couple days away, I thought it'd be kind of cool to talk about what I'm grateful for, right? I know we, you know, it's probably a cheesy or very common topic at Thanksgiving dinner, but I am grateful for life. I am grateful for having a safe haven, um, which I call my she pad, my apartment. Um, you know, I think we can get so caught up in working towards a goal that we don't appreciate what we currently have. Cause there were moments in my life where I wanted this apartment or I wanted this career or this, I don't know, hairstyle, who knows? Y'all like it? Hey. <laughs> but, you know, just, I think waking up every day and picking maybe one or two things that you're grateful for or saying it out loud or writing it down or whatever really, really, really helps. So let me see, what else am I grateful for? I'm grateful for being able to move my body. I think we take that, like, for granted. Oh, my neighbor, sorry. So like I was saying, I'm also very grateful for being able to move my body and exercise. You know, I haven't really been on my game and I have some thoughts on that, but um, you know, I'm back. Well. <laughs> I filmed a wedding recently and a proposal and I was like, the day after, I'm like, woo, okay, we gotta get back to the, the weightlifting because baby, <laughs> feeling a little weak. But yeah, just grateful for that. I'm grateful for people that I love and people that love me back. I'm grateful for those circles. I'm grateful for those connections. Ah, 
I'm also grateful for my ability to feel. Like, if, here's a message. If I tell you that I love you, I don't regret it. I don't regret telling you that. And it doesn't matter if you don't feel the same way. I love you. I love you still. How about it? <laughs> I don't know where this <laughs> accent's coming from, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that, like having an open heart. I think sometimes so much can happen in life. You know, you can have so much betrayal, so much like drama from things and just being able to feel is great. It's great. There's too many people out there that are acting nonchalantly. They're unbothered and all that stuff. No, you need to be bothered. You need to care. It's nice. All right. But yeah, so I think that's all I had in my head. I had a few points written down and just wanted to, again, come talk to you candidly um, about it. So, you know, I'm curious to know what you're grateful for, if you're willing to share that online. Um, doesn't have to be a full dissertation or anything, but let me know in the comments. And if you made it this far, you know what to do. Comment, gobble wobble. Yep, we're going to go with that. Gobble wobble. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is a safe place to talk dangerously. Signing out. And I am Taylor Alexis. I'll see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.